It's now my privilege to introduce our keynote speaker for this morning, Steve Bellamy. Where do you begin with this? Um, Steve is a modern-day Renaissance person. As you can see from his bio in the program, he's truly amazing. Steve is, uh, from what I can see, a compulsive entrepreneur and received the Kelly School's prestigious honor of distinguished, honor of distinguished entrepreneur in 2005. If you like skiing and te or tennis, the odds are great that Steve has touched your lives in a big way. He founded the Tennis Channel and the Ski Channel. His company, Atonal Entertainment, owns the LA Golf Academy, Atonal Films, Palisade Studios, and two of the top tennis academies in the world. Steve appears regularly on ESPN, Fox, and the Sporting News. Tennis Week magazine and Independent Business magazine have both featured him on the covers of their publications. In 2005, Tennis News named him the Person of the Year. The Sports Business Journal named him one of the top 10 most influential people in tennis. As a media producer, he's produced over a number of shows and has just finished his first feature film, soon to be released, Mousetrap to Mars. Steve is also a recording artist and has written over 1,500 songs, recorded 60 songs on five albums, has a video on MTV. And as we discovered after dinner last night, many of you met Steve at the Bluebird. Uh, he used to play there and has a, a very fond memory. And I, I wasn't sure whether we could drag him out of there or not. He wanted to hang out and maybe join the band later on. But I reminded him he did have an important role this morning and couldn't go out and misbehave too much. He's married to former NCAA tennis champion and top 20 ranked tennis player, Beth Herb. They have four children. What are the odds that a few of those are not going to grow up to be great tennis players? You've got to bet on that gene pool. While his accomplishments are extraordinary, ladies and gentlemen, over the past few years, I've gotten a chance to know Steve, and his accomplishments are extraordinary, but what is not on his resume is equally exceptional. Steve represents the best of everything we hold dear at Kelly. He's a person of high integrity. He has a contagious, positive attitude, a can-do attitude that, that just lifts you up when you're around him. He has an incredible work ethic. He's never satisfied and is always seeking the next challenge. He's creative. He's eternally youthful. And he gives back to the community through all of his involvement in various not-for-profit and, and uh, civic organizations. He's a role model in every sense of the word. It's truly an honor to call him one of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Steve Bellamy. Thank you so much. Uh, that, that bio is way cooler than I actually am, I must admit. Um, I've got to spend uh, the last couple days here in Bloomington in it's just, it's pounding on my heart. This is such a magical place. Uh, I am so infatuated with the people. I am so infatuated with the people back here. Um, it is just a wonderful place, and uh, I, I promise you, you are always going to hold this, uh, this place dear. I'm very jealous of everyone for two reasons. One, that you've, uh, you've got to spend the last couple of years here, which, uh, and I haven't. I think they gave me the wrong size hat here, I'm not sure. Um, and I, I'm probably more jealous of you that you're entering the business world today. Uh, probably today, I, I think, is the best time in the history of mankind to start in business. Uh, more change is taking place today than ever before. There's a few things that we're all going to have to figure out. Um, the recession, global warming. Um, I think we figured out locusts and uh, uh, killer bees by now, but uh, there will be challenges. Uh, with every generation, there are new challenges. I remember growing up as a kid, uh, we were afraid the Russians were coming. I would cry myself to sleep many nights wondering if there was a a guy coming in my bedroom the next morning. Uh, in my neighborhood now, the Russians have come. Uh, the, I guess Kelly School has donated uh, many MBA students over the years, and now Kazakhstan is a gigantic company, and they're bringing all their oil money to Santa Monica and buying the real estate I'd like to be buying and can't afford. So uh, they weren't coming with bazookas and bayonets. It was uh, oil from Dean Smith. Um, but again, there's lots of change going on. Change creates opportunity. Your generation, and especially people who've gone through this amazing institution, um, you're going to be smarter than the last generation. You're going to have a much better knowledge of the tools of business 
than my generation did. And you're going to have a lot more history behind you than previous generations. One of the core components of all of business, obviously, is communication. And that literally has been changing by the second. Uh, I don't care what business you are in, I guarantee you, you are going to be using the web on a, on a daily, hourly, if not by the minute basis. Uh, the overwhelming odds, I mean, even if you want to be the hum Unabomber and hole up somewhere in Idaho, you're probably going to be using your mobile phone for more than just a mobile phone. Uh, those of us in business now are just now figuring out how to use these tools. At my new television network, the Ski Channel, it's a television network, the most powerful medium known to mankind, sight, sound, and motion, been around since the dawn of time. 65% of our revenues are going to come from the web. 15% are going to come from mobile. Only 20% of our revenues of a television network are going to actually come from television. So in life and in business, all the rules are changing. Um, and you are stepping into the game while these rules are changing, and that's where the opportunity is going to be. Well, when we started in business, there was no email, no web, no servers, no PCs, Google, YouTube, MySpace. None of this was, was, was around. Um, mobile phones were as big as shoeboxes, and about no percentage of the, of the country actually had them. But today, every business person in the world uses Google you know, almost every minute of their business world. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it if in 18 months, Nobody uses Google because somebody in this room invented somebody that, something else that's even better. What the web has done and what this new media has done is crushed the barriers of entry, and it's crushed it right now while you guys are up at bat. I guarantee you that some of you are gonna, in this room are going to cause a few rules to be rewritten. Some of you are going to enter marketplace, marketplaces before they emerge, and you're going to be the first mover, and you're going to create marketplaces. You've got one generation who is basically still communicating in smoke signals, hieroglyphics, and charcoal drawings. And then we've got this new generation who can walk into a room, sync their iPhone to a PC, upload a file, walk into another room, stick it into a projector, and make a meeting happen that was going to crash. Uh, that same person can find the name of a person who's going to be in a meeting check out their MySpace page, find out that that person likes snowboarding and Led Zeppelin, and within seconds, he's now created a bond with that person that makes an okay meeting go into a great meeting. I have four children. Uh, from about age five, they've all been completely fluent in Spanish. Uh, I've been in the exact same environment. They don't take Spanish school. We have, we have a nanny who speaks Spanish, and she speaks Spanish all day long. My wife speaks Spanish. I'm in the exact same environment, and I can barely say taco, and these guys communicate like they're Spanish. Um, I asked my nanny if she's seen my car keys, and she hands me a banana. In this new generation, I mean, you guys are basically my children. Business 2.0, the language of Business 2.0, is their Spanish. And the other generation, my generation, is basically going to be probably handed a lot of bananas over the next few years in business. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, the path that I've taken for a lot of things in life. Uh, I'll share one thing with you. I'll try to be brief. When I left the Indiana, I moved to Los Angeles. I played a couple of shows with Bluebird, thought, oh, that's perfect for me, I'll be a recording artist. So I, uh, I've always had a serial problem with kind of betting the farm. And at one point in time in life, I was, uh, was $90,000 in debt in credit cards. I had uh, a rent that was more expensive than my income. And I didn't have a car. So uh, necessity being the mother invention, I bought a car for $300. I, uh, I, I bought a mobile auto club card. And for the next six months, my sole source of transportation was I got towed from point A to point B. <laughs> I'd go to a restaurant, I would get towed to the restaurant, and I'd call mobile, I'd get towed back home. Sometimes, six or eight times in the course of the day, I would get towed. But guess what? Uh, mobile created a new rule. They revoked my mobile card, and uh, they got rid of unlimited towing. So uh, I caused a rule to be... <laughs> to be created, and, and you guys are going to do the same. Hopefully, it's not with mobile. Um, I promised some buddies in a bar a couple nights ago that I would, at some point in time in my comments, say, uh, you are about to embark in a journey, because that seems like the perfect thing to say at a graduation, or the hokiest. So uh, you're about to embark on a journey to a new institution of learning, uh, the real world. Not the real world on MTV, but the actual real world with a guns and kids and shovels and everything else. 